Or you guys want to see some of my tools? It's a mess, that's why I... <laughs> that's one of my tool carts. I got, I got... How many tools? I got three of these carts. That's not what the video is about though, sorry. This is what the video is about. Silicone. I can't stand these damn things right here. They're a waste of money. They're like four or five bucks or whatever. Um, this is how you preserve it. I don't even buy these. I don't, the smaller ones and these, this is still good. This is made out of some kind of a, I don't know what it is. They always get at the corners. This is silicone, high temp silicone. They always get some kind of puncture or something at the, uh, at the tip, and this is good for, see how it's a, it's made out of some kind of, I don't know what it is, some kind of meta metallic, but no matter what you do, what whichever way you do this, it, it gets a hole in it somewhere, and then it becomes no good, and you pay four or five, six bucks for it, and I don't know about you, but four or five, six bucks, I want it, I don't want it to go to waste, this whole thing ends up turning out hard, so, I just want to show you what I do, what I use with silicone, and it lasts forever. Um, I use this right here, like this, um, so, it's like that, so when I put it away, I have this, I'll put one or two gloves here, and then I'll rubber band it. And then uh, I'll just leave that in there, and then when it comes time to use it, I pop this in there, and it's always ready to go. And this thing, it's only down to like, it has still this much left. This thing will work for like 20, 30 vehicles. It, I mean, you could make gaskets all day long using this. You can make tons and tons of gaskets using this thing. But the problem is, if you store it like this, this right here is going to dry, and it'll eventually uh, all fill that whole thing up this thing right here i'll let it sit like that see how it's gonna come out like that you gotta relieve pressure so it stops coming out use what you gotta use of it and you can leave it sit like that leave it sit like that for 5 10 15 minutes but after 5 times 15 minutes after you're done using it what i do is i just uh and these are about 14 bucks, 13, 12, 13, 14 bucks. Just get yourself a, a used glove or something, or anything for that matter, just some kind of rubber or something like that that's going to hold it. And uh, I just get this. You can see I, I've used this multiple times. Um, actually, we'll get a new glove. This, this glove's all nasty. So I'll get a, a new used glove which I've used already. I've used this glove. I reuse my gloves. I turn them inside out and I'll reuse them. So when you go to store it, you're done using it for the day or for the project. Put it on here like that. Go like there. Try to get the air out as much as you can. Get a rubber band. Try to get all the air out. And then uh, I just use, I'll use a glove like this. And uh, if you want, you could use like multiple gloves. You could use two gloves or three gloves or whatever. You know, it's no big deal. Got gloves laying around. I'll use another glove. And uh, oh, it's all about saving money, really. Being efficient and saving money. And uh, I would buy these all the time. And then I would come to use it, and it'd be worthless. It'd be completely rock solid, hard, worthless. And I was so fed up with that that I had to devise some kind of something. I don't know. Nobody ever told me about this. I just figure the the air causes it to get hard. Just make sure you got this, you know, some rubber or whatever. Put it in here like this. Put it like that, and then don't crank it down. Get it. So it's nice and tight. It's getting all the air out of here. Air sealed out. 
And then you just want to give it one little pump where it's going to pump some out right here. It's going to pump a little bit out right there. And you want to get the air out. And you're done. I've had these sit like this for two months. I've had it sit like this for two months. You pop this top off right here, and it's ready to go. Two months. Um, do it yourself -er. You'll probably use one of these every 10 years, maybe. But for the person that's really heavy duty do it yourself -er, or you make a living doing this stuff, this stuff you can't afford to pay $14, $15 every time you want to use one. And this crap, I can't stand it. I just can't stand it because it's just a pain in the ass. It just really is. This stuff is this this is for like one time use and then once it cracks on a corner actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in a bag that's sealed tight so that I can actually use it. But that's just a method I use. You can use any method really, you just have to keep the air out. And this keeps the air out pretty good. You give it one little pump when this is on there, and it'll push a little bit out, which will get hard, and then push all the air out. And once it solidifies, you can have this sitting here for six months. You come back to it, it'll still be good. So, that's that's what I do to preserve my silicone. If you leave this top off right here, this whole thing will be solid within two months. So, I mean, if you're using it every single day, you probably don't have to really preserve it like that. But that stuff ends up costing a lot of money. You know, you're talking about $15 a pop. And then not to mention the price of having to drive to the store all the time. But, uh, anyways, another tip for you guys. One of the things I do, you know, to save money and, and, and be more effective, more efficient in the things that I do. So, uh, I like them pants. Dickies. This is the type of stuff I lay on sometimes when I'm under a vehicle. Anyways, a little, uh, I think if you're going to be doing uh, do-it-yourself stuff a lot, or if you work in the field, uh, it's, it pays off more because if you think if you take into consideration this is three ounces, and uh, let me see, this thing right here is uh, a lot more ounces. This is uh, 11 ounces. So this is 11, that's three, so that's three six, nine, twelve, so it's basically, this is basically four of those, but the thing is, this, you can make it last a lot easier because it's it's, pla it's plastic, and you could seal it better than that. That doesn't seal very well, so you get four times the amount for basically twice the price, maybe uh, less than three times the price, four times the amount for about twice the price. And you can seal it better and it comes out and, and you got that tip that reaches in the areas and everything. Anyways, I like to give a little uh, information about things that I do that some of you may not know. I, I think a lot of uh, do-it-yourselfers, a lot of guys out there, they make videos about how to do this and that. But, but when it comes to certain simple things like this, the do-it-yourselfer doesn't know it, you know. These things I know, even if you're a do-it-yourselfer, these things you know. You use it once and then it goes to waste. So you use about like a half an ounce and uh, 2.5 ounces go to waste. So I would rather buy the bigger containers and, and use it like that. And you can store it like that for years on end if you have to. And that little caulking gun was a, a dollar. So it doesn't cost much money. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.